Right guys, welcome back to UK Highland Photography. I'm Strober and today I'm going to be carrying out a little experiment. Basically, we all know that speed lights have capacitors built into them. And when you put batteries into a speed light and you switch the speed light on, what happens is that the speed light takes energy from the batteries and it stores it in its capacitor. So you can think of the capacitor as being, you know, the speed lights built in battery. So these rechargeable batteries I've already used on the photographic assignment. In fact, these batteries has already made over 230 photographs. So the experiment today is to see if these speed lights will allow these rechargeable batteries to charge up the capacitors inside each speed light. Now, I know for a fact that the SB900 is not going to be able to switch on because there's not going to be enough power left in these batteries to switch on the SB900 or to fill its capacitor. But I'm not too sure about the rest of the speed lights. So let's begin the experiment then. So we're going to start off with the SB900. So let me just move these speed lights. And here's the SB900 taking the batteries. And we're going to install them into the battery compartment. And now we're going to switch on the speed light. And as we can see, the SB900 is saying no, there's not enough energy in the batteries to fill my capacitor. So we can't use the SB900. So I'll just get rid of that. The next one we will use will be the Pixel Migo. Okay, so this is the Pixel Migo speed light, opening the battery compartment, dropping in the batteries. And we'll see what happens here switch on the speed light we see the pixel logo and then it just switches off so it's just like the sb900 the pixel oh no 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 look at this guys look at this the pixel my go is trying to switch on oh it's gone off again okay so we were close there we were close so the Pixel My Go could not be charged from these batteries. So the next speed light we will use will be the V600 from Falloon. So let's give this one a go. And put the batteries in. Switch on the speed light. We've got red light, we have a illuminated LCD screen, but can we get enough to give us a flash? Oh, we've got a green light. So have a look at this, guys. We were able to successfully fill the capacitator on the Falloon V600 with these low voltage batteries. That is quite impressive remember the sb900 and the pixel my go would not allow us to fill the capacitors but the Falloon v600 did so that's passed we'll keep that so let's move on to the next one we'll move on to the pixel x 800 n speed light open up the battery compartment drop in the batteries and then we shall switch it on, switch on, sorry, switch on. We get the Pixel logo. We've got an illuminated LCD screen, but are we going to get a flash out of this? Now, let's just increase this to a lower flash setting and see. Well, so far, oh, guys, we got the green light. But are we going to get the red light? Unbelievable. So the Pixel 
uh, sorry, X800N, not the Mygo, but the Pixel X800N has allowed me to charge its capacitator with the low voltage batteries. So that's passed, I'm gonna keep that one too. Next one we're gonna move on to is the Trav Trava SL568 Speedlight. Now this is not a TTL Speedlight, it's a manual Speedlight. So nonetheless, we're still gonna find out if it will allow us to fill its capacitor. So if I install the batteries incorrectly, yes I have. So we'll turn that back around again, switch it on. We've got the LCD screen, but are we, we got a beep? Are we gonna get the red light? We've got the red light. So that is very, very successful. Look at that guys, we have a fully charged capacitor with the Trava SL568 Speedlight. Now what about the S, uh, sorry, what about the SB600, the Nikon SB600? Guys, I'm gonna tell you now, this is my favorite Speedlight, and yes, this is going to charge this capacitor with these low voltage batteries. I love the SB600. Again, it is my favorite speed light ever. And I just know this is going to work. So we switch it on and already it's show, I can hear the capacitor being filled up. And look, we've got red light already. And that is just absolutely cool. Um, you see that guys? But it makes you think to how speed lights work though. I mean, remember, the SB900, that's just point blank says no. As a matter of fact, guys, I will use my SB900. I'll put a fresh set of batteries in it. And then when the SB900 says that the batteries are dead, I can take them batteries out, put them in my SB600, and my SB600 acts as if it's got brand new fresh batteries in it. So it really does make you think about how speed lights do work with regards to batteries. But guys, thank you for watching my experiment. I'm glad I've done it because now I know I can use, you know, lower voltage batteries in these speed lights than what I can in the Mago and SB900. Okay guys, I'll see you all later in the next video.